So it's time to put it all back together. And what else do you have to do? Well, stick with me and I'll share that with you. So let's jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com and to the third part of our series of realigning the gantry for the eBay K40 laser. So in the past couple episodes, I pointed out the different pieces you need to take a look at, different ways to perform the alignment, and now we've placed this back into the sheet metal casing. And as I've mentioned in both prior episodes, one of the important things to consider when putting this back in is this optical train is held in place simply by the sheet metal. Most higher priced lasers have an internal skeleton that holds everything true. Because again, the laser tube and the first order mirror back here are actually held in place just by the sheet metal. And back here you have a sheet metal riser and in the front back over this way there's also a sheet metal riser. And you see there's two bolts back here and two up here. Now, one of the pieces that you need to do is ensure that this uh, gantry is level. So I've had to shim this up in the front a little bit with some washers, not too much. Because one of the pieces is the beam exits here. If this runs, if this whole gantry assembly runs downhill, as the, as the uh, X gantry moves out this way and the beam goes to hit the second order mirror, which typically sits here, well, what's going to happen is it's going to overshoot it if it's too low. So I had to raise this up slightly. Now, maybe you will, maybe you won't, depending upon the quality of yours. You may or may not have to do that. So if I put a machinist level on here, it comes out square. Now, you want to check both rails, and you also want to check this rail, too to make sure that they are level. Now, the other piece which you need to do with regards to this is to make sure that this gantry is square. Because again, this beam is going to come out here and it needs to intersect the mirror perfectly. And what happens is your gantry can actually ratchet. I don't know if you can see that, but I can move a good several millimeters. So I need to make sure that this gantry does not is not uh, racked or ratcheted in a diagonal direction at all. It needs to be perfectly square to this beam. So I'll do this in a couple of different ways is I'll set this up actually, put the second order mirror back on and do some tests to make sure that this is square by firing, test firing the laser onto the mirror and making sure I don't have any run out. Prior to that, I'll do some measuring again uh, off this side here, which this is not perfect, but it's going to get you close is to take a ruler, measure out the side to the rail, and, and make sure you have a uniform setting. At least if it's uniform, then you have a pretty good chance of being able to adjust the first order mirror up here to get a straight line out here. Once that's done, you want to lock this down. Now, the other piece I forgot to mention in the second episode or second part was I replaced all the cheap bolts in the unit. Uh, with quality M3s or M2s. So I replaced all the bolts on the limit switches. I replaced the bolts here. They were kind of a, a taper head jury rig setup. So I replaced all this so it's all clean and will hold together very nicely, just as I did over here in replacing the ones on the side. So now, once I finish squaring all this up, basically I can plug all the wires back in and I should be good to go. And I should also get good coverage over almost a foot squared, probably more so, you know, about 10 by 8 for sure. That would be pretty good. And maybe even up to 12 by 10, which will not be too bad. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you've been pulling your hair out about how to align one of these, hopefully this has answered some questions for you. Uh, again, for the money, these are very interesting, but you need to be a little bit handy. You need to have a lot of patience and square these things up, get them aligned, and they actually work pretty good. So if you found this video handy, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, Swag Shop's up in the corner. Subscribe is going to be over there. And we'll catch you in another video in the near future where we do something else cool with this or something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.